Well, my name is George Hosey. I've been in Aberdeen practically all my life. The one grey area and one thing I didn't like to admit I was actually born in Blackpool. Right. Just to explain to you this movement here, it's near the... Brian? Simon. Simon. It's near Simon's camera work. It's we wee suffering from Parkinson's, it's this involuntary movement. And that's due to just getting a wee bit of too medica much medication, which I took in preparation for this. I didn't even know what I was letting myself in for. But I'm quite switched on now, and I'm very animated, as you'll see. And by the end of the interview, you maybe hear you so I'm falling asleep. <laughs> yeah, I'm Well, it's very demanding on the, on the person, but I think it's more demanding on those that looks after you. You see, I'm pretty well turned out today, and that's no thanks to me. <laughs> and that's thanks to Cassie, who's been a partner for many, many years. And uh, she gets a thin end of it all the time. When things go wrong, she gets the blame, and when things go right, I take a credit. I would be lying if I told you if I knew how it originated. But it's, it's used, the, the words it's used in Doric are very, very descriptive. I mean, you just to hear the word and you could practically imagine what it means without ever being told the definition of it. For instance, the word smored. You hear people saying they're smoring with the call. And throughout the country, this, the roads were smored, they were choked with snow. Now, that's a great word, smored. And then there's a riven. I mean, if something's riven out of the countryside, or your boy has achieved something, his business was riven out of the circumstances of the community, means that he achieved his, his goals by sheer hard work, chiselled every inch of the way, rocked out. It wasn't easy done, but he accomplished it, riven. Revenue, very descriptive. There's another in here, eh? Swack. Somebody swack. They're agile. I'm a bit like myself. <laughs> Lifting their feet. Good mover. Swack. That's a great word. I mean, none of this is. And I can. How the, the connotations were evolved. But to be a, it's a humorous language, but born out of painful circumstances. And I don't think that's how we get our humour for. But everything is it's difficult. It's not a problem plus. We we'll laugh at it first, and then get on me solving the problem. But in all my life, I could see Benahi Loch Nagar. To my bedroom window, because it looks west, northwest. And a good night, which you sometimes get in the sun setting in the west, there's some bunny skies, and I can pick out this Loch Nagar and then look a bit further to the right, pick up Benahi. And uh, my hair tie up in that hill, so, so I never get up there. I'd like, like to like see the communities getting back to fit the word before. When people respected law, respected schooling, for there was general respect. For people didn't think about hiding their face with hoods which the youngster claimed to do today. If it was embarrassed, 
or are ashamed about what they're about to do or think. There's no explanation can satisfy me why they're about. Why have I got pit bull terriers as pets? When I was a kid, it was a goldfish and a frog. If it aspires them to get one of that things, the ugliest little bastards you've ever seen in your life. I mean, there's no a case for them. That's what I would like to see, a return to civility, to respect law and order. And for those who did preach law and order, to be beyond reproach, which we can does not exist today. At basic values. I'd like to be in the company of uh, the goons. Because they, they come through other rough times as well, up boys. And they portray the humour and their approach to the difficulties. Why well, I would approach things. And I would have loved to meet him and been in that company.